So we are going to discuss here uh, formation of uh, ordinary differential equation. This is very important. So in gate aerospace exam, they don't ask uh, till now they have not asked that uh, for this particular equation, you find out its differential equation, you understand what we have to do. Actually, uh, if any differential equation, I'm removing this, uh, understand if any differential equation is given, then we have method we will learn those methods how to uh, find out solution of those differential equations that is one thing but before that there is a more basic and that basic is if any trigonometry solution or any algebraic equation sorry equation any logarithmic equation any kind of equation is there so how to convert any equation into its differential equation okay why differential equation is very important very soon in upcoming lectures you will understand okay see uh, you can understand uh, something like this suppose you have to travel somewhere and you have your lot of cloths like jeans shirt t-shirt lot of things so how do you carry them you fold them and then you keep them in your bag or a trolley or anything so you get uh, more things uh, in the trolley like when you fold properly so you can consider that a differential equation something like a folded one okay with that differential equation you can find out so many other equations when we solve the differential equation so later you will understand why the name is coming as particular solution okay so anyway so we will understand here if there is any equation then how to convert that equation into its uh, differential equation so process is very simple let's understand this in any equation what I'm going to take here you will be having arbitrary constants so you have to remove those arbitrary constants so very simple and effective and only one popular way is you check how many arbitrary constants are there in your equation okay so you can see on my screen like I have taken here y is equal to a e power 3x b e power minus 2x so in this two arbitrary constants are there first of all you understand how to judge arbitrary constants so x and y they are variables x is your different variable which is independent variable y is depending on x so dependent variable other than that e is simply a number exponential minus 2 and minus 3 and, and plus 3 is again clear they are properly defined very defined constants only a and b are there they are arbitrary constants right so idea is how many arbitrary const constants you have in the equation minimum i mean maximum that much time you have to differentiate the equation so one is a and one is b two constants are available in the equation so two times you have to difference, differentiate the equation for sure. It means in the same equation, if you have three arbitrary constants, A, B, C, then three times. If only one arbitrary constant, then only one time differentiation. Now see, when you are doing differentiation, then in some cases, arbitrary constants will be removed automatically. But in most of the cases, even after differentiation, arbitrary constants will be there as a coefficient of any term. Then it depends on students that what kind of method they know to remove arbitrary constants from main equation and from the differentiated equation okay let's see this example because a and b are two arbitrary constants so differentiation two times let's differentiate this so i got this equation two main equation i am considering as equation one this is my equation one so uh, dy by dx when you will differentiate then a e power 3x into 3 b e power minus 2x into minus 2 will come then differentiate one more time because two constants are there so d2 by dx square a e power 3x 3 into 3 b e power minus 2x minus 2 into minus 2 more than two times is not required why because the number of arbitrary constants are only two now we saw that neither in equation 2 nor in equation 3 we got a or b free no still a and b are present so now do you think that we achieved something no right now in these two steps we could not make the equation a and b free still a and b are there in the equation one primary equation the main equation then two and three and then now what to do so now see guys now it's up to you you can use equation one two three 
to perform or any type of operation addition substitution subtraction division whatever you want you do square add subtract but somehow you get rid of a and b a and b should not be there so when you will be doing for example multiply some number and add the equations divide something something you do then you will be getting a fourth equation fifth equation something something you will be doing right in that process only you can remove a and b okay this is the case not only for this problem in all the problems where arbitrary constants will be there you will differentiate those many times then you will be getting new new equations now you have to play with these equations now this play part only can be a good trick in gate exam so what kind of questions you are practicing and what kind of question and any new kind of question is coming in gate exam in that case you may fail so different types of varieties of problems i will be explaining here that will be sufficient i hope that that must be sufficient okay so more than two times is not required now we need to do some not sure depends some mathematical operations we have to do like add subtract substitute etc to remove these a and b and get differential equation without a and b that will be our final answer so it depends on students which tool or which logic comes first in your mind in your gate exam from second equation from second equation 3a into e power ex i am finding out its value so i am sending everything left and right and e power 3e a power 3x value i am finding out that is going to be dy by dx 2b e power minus 2x okay now this value 3e power 3a e power x value this entire value i am substituting in the uh, equation 3 equation 3 is that equation two times differentiation right so in the equation 3 here i have substituted the value now in the equation 3 after substitution of this value still i have this b here and i have this b here okay now see other people can can choose any other way to remove a and b but which logic what is your practice is coming in your mind that depends right so d2 i by dx square 3 dy by dx and this much i got after solving this now see by this operation we have to remove a now think more to remove b i have removed a now we have to think how to remove b from the equation use equation 2 and equation 1 that's what i'm saying we have to play we have to think okay because here you have to apply some brain otherwise idea is very simple you have to remove the arbitrary constant in the last whatever you are getting that will be your final answer from 2 find a e power 3x and put in equation 1 from that new equation uh, find b or in simple words using equation 1 and equation 2 cancel a and get b b value substitute in fourth equation fourth equation we have got here this one hmm? so now i am doing that so this is the equation this is the equation in this in this equation multiply 3 throughout so 3 3 3, 3. so 3y and uh, dy by dx is here A plus 2b, I can equate 3b e power minus 2x. I got 3y value, dy by dx plus 5b power minus 2x. Clear? I got my b value. Now this b value I am going to put back in equation fourth. Equation fourth here. I have b value. I will substitute there. So whatever b value you have got, that b value you substitute here. Here I am substituting b here. Okay, this this as it is, ten is as it is, it but as it is. You can learn here, uh, simplify this properly, and uh, get this answer. That's all. I mean, here in the last nothing, uh, get the steps, pause the video, try to do this by yourself. If you'll be having any doubt, I'll explain. So we got it, required equation. So now you can see in this equation a and b are not present. That is the true meaning of differential equation. In the differential equation, you should not be remaining with any kind of a and b arbitrary constants. Okay. these kind of questions will give you free marks if it is going to appear in gate exam okay now i'm taking another example find the differential equation corresponding to the family of curves which is given like this now this is important equation y is equal to i'll change the color of my pen i'll take uh, yellow color will be fine y is equal to c x minus c whole square so here you have x minus c whole square and c So y is equal to see this much is there. I am considering the given equation as equation one. Now differentiate once. 
and remember in this equation c is written two times but c is c only so don't consider two only one c is there only one arbitrary constant what is the name of that constant c okay so you have to differentiate only one time no need to differentiate two times why because arbitrary constant is only one now problem is when you are differentiating only one time still if you are not able to remove c from the equation after differentiation then again we are landing to the same logic what is the logic logic is we have to play with equation 1 and equation 2 to remove c uh, completely and we'll be getting some new equation that will be my final answer so now try to think anyway so that without further more differentiation we can remove c from equation 1 and equation 2 somehow we have to remove somehow to get the equation in which c is not present we have to find the equation so idea is square equation 2 so it will look like this then whatever you have got put as equation 3 now in this equation 3 divide by equation 1 in the it means the question that question itself you divide so equation 3 is divided by equation 1 so I'm writing here 3 divided by 1 so I'll be getting this term now in this term uh, c and square will get cancelled this guy will get cancelled so I'll be getting c value as this much so now I have got c value now this c value you can put in equation 1 because there you have c present or in equation 2 anything is fine because in both you have c present any one equation you can choose so I am substituting c equation so in my second equation which is coming after differentiation in that I am substituting c value so this is my uh, entire c value this was as it is find out I mean you rearrange terms nothing is high, just rearranging just rearranging you rearrange term 2 by blah blah and find out this expression just after rearrangement now a different type of equation again you pause and try to do see this is an important equation find the differential equation that describes the family of circles passing through the origin if this question comes in gate exam then many of the students they will not be having memory like definitely you may have done in your 12th class because without doing this you are not here so in your 12th class definitely you have done family of curves chapter in that uh, family of parabolas different different see, ellipse and all in you remember hk format was there r format was there in the equation uh, circle is at origin circle radius is passing through the origin these kind of different, different concepts were there but it's fine here i'm teaching from basic no problem so first of all equation i'm not going to prove i am considering that somehow you will learn that uh, circle passing through the origin what is the equation of that circle because if student is weak in geometry then definitely even though you know how to do OD you will not be able to do this so I am considering that you know that in 2D geometry lot of equations are there out of that I am picking up this equation x minus h square y minus k square under root h plus k h square plus k square under root whole square so this guy is radius radius square and h and k here any arbitrary coordinate so now what is the idea this h and k they are two variables sorry two constants arbitrary constants it means this equation we must differentiate two times not three times not one time two times why because two constants are there so what will you do first of all you make the equation proper so expand the equation so after expanding the equation i am getting this format this format i am saying equation one now you may have heard implicit explicit format see guys implicit means kind of impure means x y terms will be mixed together explicit means your y value will be properly written y is equal to something will be written that will be explicit implicit means impure kind of thing you consider like x y will be mixed so you can see here in, in equation 1 x square 2 h x y square 2 k x y they are mixed kind of they are kind of mixed I mean this equation I am not writing y is equal to something I am in that form, form I am not writing so this expression is in like a expression first equ ex expression so when these kind of equations you will differentiate that differentiation we say implicit differentiation hmm. um, I'll, I'll just show you something here suppose I have x y plus y plus x is equal to 0 this is one way to write the equation there can be another way to write the equation so right now this is implicit way why, why because right now x and y they are mixed together this is implicit way now what is explicit way same equation you write only y is equal to 
y is equal to something then it will become explicit how from here you take y common so x is remaining here plus 1 is remaining here plus x is equal to 0 so y is equal to minus x divided by x plus 1 so same equation when you will write like this this becomes explicit okay so currently my equation which is here it is in which format it is in implicit format so this implicit differentiation i will do how whenever x and y will come together then i will consider u and v first term second term whenever x will come alone with h or k only x will be differentiated whenever y will come alone with h and k only y will be differentiated h and k they are constants right so differentiate your uh, 2x so sorry x square then 2x will come differentiate 2hx so x will be 1 2h will be remaining differentiate y square 2y into dy by dx 2y plus y dash 2y into y dash then 2ky here y becomes y dash so 2ky dash is equal to 0 clear now we got this equation fresh equation i am saying as equation 2 now we we have to differentiate one more time why because two constants are there right h and k so i am differentiating one more time so again implicit differentiation okay so second equation differentiate once x becomes 1 h becomes 0 y y dash here you will apply first and second u into v rule right so first function consider as y leave as it is second function y dash you differentiate it will become y double dash plus second function you leave as it is first function y you differentiate it will become y dash so y dash y dash become y dash whole square so this becomes y dash whole square okay and now uh, here ky dash is there so differentiate one more time ky double dash will come k is constant right okay now go to equation 1 find out h value so that h value will contain k also because that is a fresh equation equation 1 now this h value you substitute in equation 2 what is equation 2 when first time i differentiated so in that here i am substituting your h value so k is still here k is still here then from this equation 4 whatever i have got here find out k value properly and that k value you rearrange it should, it should look like this if your k value is not matching with my k value then it means somewhere you are doing wrong now this k value you substitute in equation 3 what is equation 3 second third uh, second time differentiation that equation so it will look like 1 plus y y dash sorry y y double dash y dash is square minus here i am substituting k value y double dash is equal to 0 done now rearrange it will look like this okay i hope done now in next lecture i will do next topic now see how much you have to cover for gate exam uh, you will be having your um, i have given some books on drive right in that books you find out where like actually i have not started teaching methods of solving differential equation today today i was just just, just teaching if family of equation or any equation is given then how to convert that into differential equation so when we are converting into differential equation you can see here they are free from any type of arbitrary constants that was my approach so to remove all the uh, all kinds of arbitrary constants and get a genuine uh, equation where a and b and c or something is, is not present all clear in next video i am going to start a new topic in today's video no need to practice anything else only these questions you try one more time and uh, there is less chance that they will give you any equation and they will ask to convert into differential format there is less chance why because they have better quality full questions if they will ask this question almost everyone will be able to solve this question so in in ode in pde already we have very good and great topics so that's why from this particular topic they don't ask questions regularly but from other topics they're asking so let's see you in next video